Welcome to another episode of Open at Microsoft, where we're going to be exploring the Dapper community. Today, I'm joined by co-creator of Dapper and current co-founder and CEO of Diagrid, Mark Fussell. Let's dive into it. All right, Mark. So I've been hearing a lot about a lot of the momentum in the Dapper community. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about uh, the Dapper community, how it's going, and kind of some highlights that you've seen lately? Yeah, I'd love to dive into some of that. In fact, the community is just growing enormously. So kind of if you reflect back, Dapper got released in October 2019. Um, and so it's been about there about three and, three and a half years since that first initial release. Um, and then, of course, then there was a big release in the 1.0 release, which was in the January of 2021. And, and since then, you know, the community really has taken off. And yeah, I think for me, the greatest uh, um, measure of that is the number of contributors. And so, you know, I've got a bit of a picture here at the moment that shows that, you know, you see the contributor graph at the bottom here, uh, month over month since it first released um, back in that October of 2019. And you see that, you know, there's a consistent growth of now, you know, two and a half thousand contributors. Because, you know, the contributors are the people who kind of care. They give their time. You know, they want to come along and donate their time. So mm -hmm. that is tremendous. Um, in terms of uh, another way of looking at this is if you look at a velocity report that comes out of the CNCF every six months, they look across uh, a measure themselves that they have called authors, um, and they measure the actual community impact there as well. And so they measure Dapper as the 10th largest project inside CNCF um, out wow. of the 157. So it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's a pretty substantial community now. Yeah, and then could you tell just a quick little overview about CNCF? Is that the Cloud Native Computing Foundation? Yeah, yeah, CNCF is kind of the body of which uh, Dapper got donated to um, a year and a half ago now, um, back in November of 2021. And, um, you know, it's, it's the body that has many open source projects part of it all. Um, it's a consortium that originally started when Kubernetes got donated to that. I um, mean, since then, it's grown to become, you know, a very centralized place where cl Cloud Native Technologies you know, Knative, um, Kubernetes, Envoy, um, all kind of become part of that. And so, you know, we donated CN, uh, Dapper into that because we felt that that was the right place for it to live and that was the right place for it to grow. That's amazing. Um, so now if uh, users wanted to kind of get started with Dapper, and uh, it sounds like there's already a ton of ton of users there now, um, where's kind of that getting started point? Where can users go to learn more and to jump right in? Yeah, let me kind of pull up my, some things on my screen here. So, you know, first, you know, we've got the, the Dapper.io website, you know, go here. This kind of tells you a little kind of marketing overview about what it's all about and how you can find out more. You know, there's, there's fun few case studies inside here. I always think those are good to read about. You know, these are, you know, people who've published their articles about how they use Dapper. It gives you a good reason about why you should, because like with any technology, you want to figure out, is it useful for me in the first place and should I care? Um, and then you can see inside here, we got docs. And if you dive into the docs repo inside here, you know, this is a great starting point for you to figure out, you know, what's Dapper useful. Um, and you'll see inside here as we scroll down, it, it's got a number of different sections. And, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a getting started guide here. Um, takes you through some steps, takes you through installing the Dapper CLI, installing it on, on your, your local development box. One of the great things you have is you can run it locally. And then you can dive into sort of these quick starts. Um, and when you look at what Dapper is, well, you know, what is Dapper? Dapper is a set of APIs help you be productive building distributed applications. You know, it's all about, you know, here's an interesting case study. We, we spent a lot of time with customers, getting them to build with and without Dapper. Um, and it literally was 50% faster because, you know, the capabilities like messaging with PubSub, um, calling between services with service invocation, long running stateful, uh, durable services, you know, with state management, um, things like workflow now. You know, those are what they help with. So these quick starts, you know, if you dive into one of these here, you know, it takes you through each one of those APIs. And, you know, you can choose your language here. I can choose Python. I can choose JavaScript. I can choose .NET. Uh, and they're, they're really clear in terms of just telling you, you know, how to use the API, what you care about, um, you know, depending on where you come from as a developer. That's amazing. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely a developer who I like to just kind of tap my uh, coworker on the shoulder, ask some questions or ask for help. But uh, with work from home and uh, uh, like not seeing too many people in the office, I often need someone to go ask for help or if I'm hitting issues. Now, where's a good place if you're a new user to, to Dapper or an experienced user who wants to ask some questions and kind of engage with the community? Where, where can a, a new Dapper user go? Yeah, that's a good question because, you know, you, you need help um, yeah, and you want to reach out. 
Um, and what we have is we have a very vibrant Discord community. So you know, I'll just pull up. Um, this is our this is our Discord channel. And um, if you go and look up the the, you know, the Dapper server inside here, join, become a member. Uh, we have uh, over five thousand people on there today. So it's kind oh, of well. a pretty big community. And you can join here. You see these little welcome messages inside here. This overview. Um, there's even a place where you can do a little introduction to yourself. You know, people talk about you know who they are and where they've come from and what they're doing. Um, and then you know we have announcements inside here. Yeah, we, oh look, just yesterday actually we released a new hotfix <laughs> for the 10.5 release. So you know here it is. Um, we did some patches, we did some fixes. Um, this is all because it's driven by the community. Uh, there's a little bit of show and tell inside here. I love this show and tell. People come along here. Um, they talk about you know little blog posts they've written. Um, little videos they've created. Um, so I spend a lot of time in this. And uh, then generally, you know, there's a general channel inside here. And then if you look at each one of the APIs, you know, we got these all broken out. So you can ask about PubSub as an API. You can ask about secrets management. Um, or you can look at this in particular repos instead. So that was quite a number of repos. Like if you want to talk about the samples, the quick starts, uh, or the docs inside here. Um, or it can do it from an SDK perspective. So, you know, diving in here, we sort of break it down in different ways. Um, you can reach out and, you know, ask questions about Dapper and Kubernetes. You know, how do I get it to work? What are some of my issues? And, yep, you'll get an answer for certain. Yeah, I, I was just talking to Paul in a previous video about the new workflow API. So I'll have to go check out that workflow channel to uh, ask some questions about that as I get started. Yeah. Um, speaking of that show and tell, um, I'm very interested in some of the new kind of contributors to Dapper. So um, what does it take to become a contributor to Dapper and start uh, writing your own code and uh, giving back to, to the project now? Uh, where would kind of be that jumping off point uh, for contributors be? Yeah, you can jump into different places here. If you kind of go into... Um... It's kind of take you through this a little bit here. You know, we have this we have this community repo here first. So if you go to uh, GitHub org, um, Dapper inside all of that, and then go to this community repo, it kind of gives you a starting point to think about, you know, how you contribute to some of these things. And inside here, we actually have uh, contributor guidelines inside here. It, it actually takes you into a doc section inside here. So you get to this contributing guide that's in the docs. Um, and you see inside here, there's a general contributing overview um, about you know, how you contribute into one of the repos themselves, into the docs themselves. Uh, you can see there's a docs contributing guide here. Um, there's how you can even just contribute by giving a presentation on Dapper. You know, that's contributing itself um, or kind of working with one of the SDKs or if you really want to get into it, you know, building out the runtime. So, you know, we have great contributing guides here depending on whether you just want to uh, give a presentation all the way to actually becoming part of a maintainer one day if you want to really go and become part of the project. Very cool. Now, with all these uh, contributors, and I'm sure there's a lot of great new features uh, being created. Um, what's what's to look what next up on the uh, roadmap for like 1.11 and some things that uh, we can keep an eye out from uh, from the community? Yeah, yeah. So Adapter is a great, uh, we have a regular rhythm of releases. So we release every quarter. Um, so uh, we did back in January, or just in February, February, January, February timeframe, the 1.10 release. Uh, the one you point out, the 1.11 release is coming out in May. And then you'll see there's a 1.12 release that comes out in August and then one in November. So that regular cadence now we've been doing for a while. And what you can do is you can dive into um, the Dapper Dapper repo here. And inside this repo, for every one of the milestones, we have this release planning. And you can see that there's a release lead person. There's people who are responsible for it all. Uh, we set the dates inside here. And then inside here, we typically kind of put some pro uh, proposals in the release. These are some of the priorities that you can look over. Um, you can look over the release board and you can re read through these. Uh, we highly recommend that you come along, um, put some of your comments inside here. Quite often, actually, we have a, a weekly design review where you can jump on the call and listen to a particular proposal design, for example. And also, we have community calls that happen every two weeks. So actually, we've got to community call number 80, I think. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We've been going for a while. Actually, yeah. I'm happy to do call number 100 this year. <laughs> I think it'll be this year anyway. Um, but at that one as well, we also serve some of these, the release planning, these design proposals, do lots of demos. Uh, so coming in and joining that call and hearing the feedback and looking at these issues, you know, we strongly encourage because, you know, it, the community is everything really. And, you know, seeing people become part of that and contributing their ideas and their thoughts um, especially when their end users using Dapper really kind of um, 
makes it real and solidifies the project and makes it sure it's driving in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. I will uh, looking forward to seeing you on hopefully community call number 100 uh, later this year, as well as all those um, up to and leading to it. So thank you so much for joining us today. Though this was great to dive into where to get started with Dapper, where to go ask questions on Discord, how to get involved in the community via the uh, contribution guidelines and, uh, and the community calls and the, the release planning. So looking forward to Dapper 1.11, as well as all of the community calls ahead. Thanks so much for joining again. Well, thank you for having me. It's been fabulous being here. Hey. I'm Kadesha, and I'm here to let you know that May is Maintainer Month. At GitHub, we're celebrating maintainers all month long by providing a place to gather, share, and learn together. Come join our month-long events and activities to be a part of the celebration and share your story with other maintainers and join the maintainer community. We have workshops, podcasts, conferences, meetups, and much more planned for you to enjoy all month long. Go to maintainermonth.github.com to see and create your schedule and be a part of the celebration. See you there.